Okay, now the thing about the Taiwanese 7-Elevens is that they give you these receipts. If you're local, you might want to keep these because these are kind of like, I guess kind of like lucky number or lottery receipts. You would uh, plug it in and find out if you want anything. 7-Eleven man in Asia and Southeast Asia. I don't know, the, the US is lagging behind in that. Today we're going to take a peek inside the 7-Elevens in Taiwan. For part of the day, I have my friend Sharon with me who will help me decode Taiwanese 7-Elevens. If you buy something online or if you buy something from another company, you can actually have them delivered to a 7-Eleven and then you can pick it up here at 7-Eleven. Oh, no way. Mm -hmm. If their um, clients buy something from their store and if they live on the other side of town, they'll just send it to the closest 7-Eleven. <laughs> you don't. You don't need to get a PO box. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, you can do business here with your bank. You can uh, have a card that will check on what your balance is for your phone. Um, all different things that you, if you have a membership card, you can swipe it. Wait. So you can pay your bills on here too. Yeah. Okay. So you pay your bills. You check on how many points you have. Yeah. You according to that particular. For example, this is talks about the bank. This is talking about the mobile phone. This is about uh, withdrawing cash, so it's kind of like a... And this is you can buy piao, um, tickets and stuff, mm. too. Oh, to like events or something? Yeah, and this is like a parking, parking tickets. So if you get you a pay. parking ticket or you just... Yeah, the meter guys that go around and put little tickets uh -huh. and then you get charged for every half an hour or 15 minutes, like 10 NT dollars or 15 NT dollars. And so when you leave, you'll you'll still have the ticket on the car uh -huh. on your car, but you can pay it at any 7-Eleven store. Uh, the parking ticket. But if you don't pay it, then if if it's past, I believe, 60 days or something like that, you get a fine, which is a lot higher than what the ticket would have been. Okay. <laughs> then she'll buy one of these uh -huh. like 12 NT dollars, uh -huh. and then she'll fill this whole thing with broth and take it home. And use it as a soup and put noodles in it because the way it's cooked, it's it's got that flavors of all the fish balls and things in there, so it makes a really good soup base. Uh huh. And it's like a twelve twenty dollar dinner. Or so these are tofu. Tofu. That's like um, a turnip radish. Turnip. Okay. You know, so there are like, like veggie options. And then there's corn. Yeah. Okay. I'll need to have one of these thirty cent dinners. While rice is a staple starch, it's still a little weird to me that people here consider bread as kind of like a breakfast pastry or just kind of like a dessert. I love that they photo ID their rice balls. It makes it so much easier to see what's inside. There's tuna, shredded meat, and salmon. It's like a burger flavored Pringles. This is, is that egg? Egg or cheese. They have pineapple M&Ms. This is interesting. It comes with chili. Packet of chili. This is their dried fruit section. Okay, so energy drinks and multi-mineral drinks. It's like uh, 38 dollars. Super C, MSC. Must be vitamin C. Oh, and here's what I would normally get. Beauty drink. Special drink designed to supply beauty ingredients, collagen. Supports your beauty from the inside of your body. Asia, I'm not sure why, but they're really big on collagen drinks. Thailand also. I don't remember if Korea was like that too. But here's vitamin collagen. Soft boiled eggs. Ooh. limit is for buying alcohol. Right next to the alcohol are these herbal drinks which are for health and energy. 
pet food seems kind of natural, but from what I've been seeing on the streets is that the Taiwanese actually treat their dogs kind of like human babies. It's in winter when it gets cold, 7 Eleven and family marts in Taiwan, and I think even in Korea, I'm not sure, maybe in Japan too, they sell it these shirts. It keeps the heat in. Um, so you can actually buy shirts here. So, travelers, if you forget your shirt, it's cold. Seven lemons might have them. The only problem is you might want to figure out what your size is before you purchase them because the sizing is always different. In Asia, you might find the size is really smaller. That's good to know. I'm at 7 Eleven right now and I got this um, soup where you can pick and choose what type of, I guess, ingredients or bits you want. For this meal right here of three items cost me $36. Tofu and corn on the cob. Fish cake. Let me get mm, it. So the fish cake. It's amazing actually. Got corn in it, fish cake, carrot, onion. Next time I just get more of these. 7 Eleven. Yep. And the soup. Mm. It's like perfect for a cold night actually. Continuously. Now my feet are very mad at me. They are. That's why I'm sitting here in 7 